Cause I slay, 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 I I hope you guys enjoy it. I use the Morphe 350 palette for this look. I'm so excited because I finally got my hands on it. It finally came back in stock after being out of stock for like forever. So I got my hands on it and I did this when I was playing around with some makeup the other day. So I just decided to recreate it for a video. And yeah, let me know what you think of the look. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So guys, I already applied my Stay Matte Primer, my Baby Skin Primer, and I filled in my brows with the NYX Micro Brow, and I cleaned them up with the NYX Concealer in a Jar. And for foundation today, I used the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. So now I am just applying some e.l.f. eyeshadow primer to my eyelids to prep my eyes for the eyeshadows. I'm taking the Morphe 350 palette, and I am first applying that brown in my crease with a crease brush and just using windshield wiper motions and um, you know using it as a transition color. Now I'm taking that shimmery copper color and applying it kind of the way you would when you're doing a halo eye in the inner lid on the outer lid and toward the crease but not in the center of your lid. So that's what I did there. I'm using a large shader brush for this. And now I'm just taking a champagne color and applying it to the center of my lid using that same shader brush. And I'm just blending um, the colors together and decreasing the transition color. Now I'm taking that dark brown and I'm taking a pointed pencil brush and putting that dark brown on my outer V and then I'm using that larger crease brush and blending that into my crease. Now I'm taking that orange color and taking that crease brush, that blending brush again and placing that above the transition color that's just warming up my eyes some more. And now I'm taking the that beige color and placing that underneath my brow bone. So then I'm just applying some more of that copper and dark brown underneath my lash line. And now I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal and highlighting my face and all those areas that you see there. And I sprayed my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist Sunset just to make sure that the concealer doesn't dry up. And now I'm taking a damp beauty blender and blending all that concealer out. Okay, now I'm taking the Slasher Cosmetics Buttercup Powder and um, setting all that concealer that I just placed on my face. I'm using my Beauty Blender to do this. I actually really like using the Beauty Blender to set my um, concealer with powder. Even though it's damp, it works really well. And I did let this bake a little while before I blended it out with this large shader, this large powder brush and the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder gonna blend everything out. I like to use translucent powder and blend everything out just because um, it helps the Sasha Cosmetics powder not look as harsh and everything just looks more seamless when you blend it out with powder with a large powder brush. And now I'm taking the CoverGirl bronzer in Ebony Bronze and just placing that everywhere I want to contour in the hollows of my cheeks, on my jawline, on the sides of my nose, on my temples, and my forehead. 
like the perimeter of my face really. So now I'm taking Ruby Kisses liquid liner and um, applying it to my lash line. And now I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies and putting those on my on my eyes. Now I'm taking the Carly Bible palette and using the last two highlight colors as my inner tear duct highlight, my brow bone highlight, and I'm going to use that on my face as well. That's it. Now I'm going back in with that copper and just adding some more of that to my um, lower lash line. Now I'm taking Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and applying it to my lashes. I really didn't go hard with this just because this is a recreation of the look that I had on Instagram and I was about to go to sleep and take off this makeup anyway. But yeah, I did put a lot more mascara on when I was going outside with it. So I just applied the highlight there and now I am applying some blush. This is the e.l.f. blush palette in um, dark. I really like this blush palette. And now I'm just applying some more bronzer. I felt like I couldn't really see it, so I applied some more. I'm taking my powder brush and blending everything out on my face so nothing looks too harsh. And now I'm taking the NK liner in dark brown and lining my lips with it. And I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Kapow for that nice taupey gray lip. And that is it. Once that's applied and set, it's a really nice matte taupey gray. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please definitely like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!